know a lot of people are, you know, very much worried about, which is, you know, me being taken from and this, that, and the other. Okay, bye. Well, like, one thing I've learned over the course of time is that, you know, you, you can't really worry. And you want to know why you can't worry? Because me, I've had stuff taken from me in my whole damn life, you know, doing music, doing artwork. Like, dude, when I first started out doing music, do you know how many people fucking stole my beats from me? Do you know how many motherfuckers took instrumentals from me and used them with, without even asking or crediting or any of that shit? Do you know how many motherfuckers have taken my artwork and ran with it over time? So you that's know. why anymore, if someone takes my artwork, hey, that's cool. I'll come up with something better. I don't give a shit. Like, why would I worry about an art piece that I can easily, you know, come up with a better variation of? Like, I've had so many people, you know, steal my fucking artist names, steal my songs, fucking leave. I, quite frankly, I'm done fucking fighting. Like, you know. Like, if this, somebody wants to take my fucking artwork and run with it, so fucking what? I don't give a shit. Because at the end of the day, there ain't nothing I can do to stop them. I mean, what am I going to do? Like, report them and this and that and the other? They're just going to continue on. So it's like, it is what it is. Besides, uh, Deadbeat, one of the mods, Deadbeat, he's helped me rebrand a lot of my stuff. He's helping me rebrand the channel. Uh, this next weekend, um, I have the official logos dropping. I'll be working on some brand new stuff with that. Um, I got a brand new sound that I'm dropping very soon, which I'm super excited for. So, I mean, I'm not worried, bro. Like, I'm not letting these dudes get to me, you know? But, uh, you know, there are a few signs of a troll that you got to be wary of. And, you know, them doing that kind of shit, like saying, oh, you need this, you need that, blah, 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 blah. It's like, that's literally a clear telltale sign of me hell. And no offense to Marty at all whatsoever. So, Marty, I hope, I hope you don't take offense to this. I'm just going off of, you know. The, the past, basically, and what you did before. I'm not calling you out. I'm not saying, you know, you're a bad guy. I'm just, you know, using what had happened as an example when, you know, you took some of my stuff, you ran with it, and you basically used it to come after me. You know, I, I couldn't stop you then. So, like, even if you were to go back to that, why... Like, how can I stop you now? Like, you're going to do what you're going to do, like, regardless. You know, just like with all you other trolls, like, y'all are going to do what you're going to do. I mean, and I can't do anything to stop you, so what's the, what's the point in worrying? Like, why stress over someone that you have zero control over? Like, I'm only worried about one thing, and that's rebranding and reinventing myself. That's what I'm focusing on. I'm not worried about the past. I'm not worried about, you know, who did what. I'm worried about rebranding myself, reinventing myself, coming out with brand new stuff. So that's where my head's at. That's what I'm worried about. Like, I'm not worried about if, you know, Jane Doe took a fucking art piece of mine from 10 fucking years ago or a month ago and ran with it and 
transformed it into something different or claim this and that. Like, I'm not worried. Because like I said, I can't control anybody's actions. I can only control me. That's the only person I have control over is myself. I don't have control over nobody else, just me and what I'm doing. Actually, a few people have bought the old merch, my man. So, uh, yeah. Deuces. See you, bro. All right, like I said, man, I'm not worried about nobody but me. Like, I'm not worried about nobody fucking else. Like, prime example, that Aaron Kosharski dude. I destroyed him once. Why would I want to battle him again in a, use, in a useless fucking battle? Like, if he calls me out, he calls me out. If he says he won, what do you fucking do? Let him claim that he fucking won. I don't care. I mean, we all saw, everybody saw me destroy him once. Like, why would I want to waste my time on a piece of shit like him looking for clout? Just like, why would I want to worry about what anyone says? Clout. I mean, come on, do you know how many people have spread rumors about me? Like, seriously? I have had so many people spread rumors about me. I would me not want to be known for being around you. I don't pay attention you. to it anymore. It's, it's stupid. Anything associated with you. Well, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I'm not worried. Like, yeah, do you know how many people I've had talk shit on me, claim this and claim that, and say on this and on that? This, Dude, that, and the other. Talk is cheap. Talk is fucking cheap, dude. So you can say I did this and did that until, you know, you're blue in the face. But unless, and this is something that I've learned. Unless you have actual video, and I'm not just talking like actual, like, you know, imagery proof. If, unless you have actual video evidence your word don't mean shit. Like, that's something that I had to learn the hard way. Unless somebody has actual physical video evidence, at the end of the day, it's just my word versus theirs or their word versus whoever's. Like, whoever they're arguing with. Unless there's one rule that you guys need to, you know, that a lot of you trolls need to learn, that I had to learn. You know, unless you got it on video, it never happened. Unless you got it on video, you got no proof. Just saying, dude. Well, not only was he disrespectful about it, I done destroyed him once. So, why would I want to fight him again? It makes no sense. Like, that's like me. I know this is going to sound funny and stupid at the same time. Like, I know this is going to sound hilarious, but you guys will understand what I'm going, what I'm getting at. Like, battling Aaron again would be like me battling a mannequin. I beat up a fucking inanimate object. I leave, and then I come back the next day just to do it again. And why? That don't make no sense. Like, why would I want to destroy a mannequin again that I already destroyed once? Do you know what the definition... Do you know what Einstein says about insanity? Do you know what the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same result. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting something different, but nothing different happens. You usually get the same result. And that's what Aaron's doing. He's 
he's fighting so hard to get a different result, but he's he's sad for this. He's not going to get a different result. Like literally, like that's literally what he's doing. Like he's chasing shit, expecting the same fucking. Like he's expecting something different, but getting the same result. Like, come on, do you know how many videos there are of me out there on Kiwi Farms on YouTube? Like. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if there was videos of me on fucking TikTok that I didn't post. And that wouldn't surprise me. I agree, mean, yeah, I've done TikTok and I do have a TikTok that I haven't posted on it for fucking ever. But at the same time, like, it, it doesn't surprise me anymore. If someone comes up and runs their mouth to me, hey, that is what it is. <clears throat> Which leads me back to my point from earlier. I can't control nobody else but me. I only have control over one person, and that's me. I don't have control over any of you guys in the chat. I don't have control over the trolls. I don't have control over the people that hate me. I only have control over one person. Me. This body. This person right here that you're staring at. He's the only person that I have control over. So, there's that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Instead of that song, Break Your Neck. No, that is true. And see, and that's the Shave thing. Your neck. <laughs> and that's why I like being so controversial because, let's face it, I've pushed the boundaries on shit. That's what I've done since I was a kid. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, when I was a kid, let me tell you. Just shave your neck. <laughs> I used to, and I, I don't know if you guys I did this as well, but I know I did. I was always that kid that when I was done with my classwork growing up as a kid, I would always draw either on my classwork or on the back of it. Like, that was me. I was that kid that would literally spend more time drawing on the back of my classwork than actually doing it. I don't know if anybody else did that, but I was that kid that did that. Like, hell, take a look at Dude, you think I'm controversial? Bruh. <laughs> let, let, let me show you controversial. I want you guys to take a listen to this. Why do you keep putting shit in that I have to fucking delete out? Like, I hate editing you. <laughs> that means I gotta listen to you again and again. I want you again. guys to take a listen to how controversial this actually is. I don't want to. 